This podcast is part of the Bomb Pod Media Network. From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. NBA on TNT analyst Charles Barkley doesn't believe that vegetarianism is a thing. On a recent broadcast, the Basketball Hall of Famer told Ernie Johnson, "...there's no such thing as a vegetarian. Nobody doesn't like meat, Ernie." Okay, so Charles Barkley doesn't think vegetarians are real. Uh, a few months ago, Shaquille O'Neal said he believes the Earth is flat. I thought head injuries were mostly a football thing. Sewer workers in London finally broke up that 140-ton blockage. It stretched farther than two football fields. It was the biggest breakup in London since One Direction. Oscar-winning actor and author Tom Hanks used a Texas book festival appearance to help a couple get engaged. Hanks was in Austin Saturday speaking to hundreds of listeners about his new book, Uncommon Type, Some Stories, and then suddenly Hanks just told the crowd that he was bored from taking their questions. He wanted to ask a question himself. He then pulled out a piece of paper and said that a man in the crowd, Ryan McFarling, had a question for a woman named Nikki Young. Hanks said the question was, Nikki, will you marry me? Well, the couple went on stage, McFarlane got down on one knee, gave Young the ring, Hanks then hugged the newly engaged woman and offered his best wishes to the couple. You know, this would have been a better story, though, if the guy's name had been Wilson. Wouldn't it? Wilson! Wilson! A judge in Hawaii has sentenced a defendant to write at least 140 nice things about his ex-girlfriend after he violated a protection order and began repeatedly harassing her by phone and text. So, Judge Rhonda Liu told Mr. Darren Young that for every nasty thing you said about her, you're going to say a nice thing. And no repeating words. Wow, is this even possible? I mean, I really like myself. and. I probably couldn't come up with maybe more than a dozen nice things to say. The bicycle-riding woman who was photographed flipping off President Trump's motorcade in Virginia recently has been fired from her job because of the flipping of the bird. She, she tried justifying her actions, saying that she was calling the president number one, but nobody was buying it. Well, you've known him as Sean Combs, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy. Well, now he's changing his name yet again to Love, aka Brother Love. How long before this guy pulls a prince on us and just changes his name to an unpronounceable symbol? Up in Canada, Patrick Mays wrote on his Facebook page, If you know someone who's lost a house, let me know. And he wasn't kidding. Seems he was driving past a section of his property near Pilot Butt, Saskatchewan, when he noticed, because it was hard not to notice, a gray house on a trailer just parked in the middle of a field that Mays rents to a local farmer. While he assumed this was a temporary thing and that the owner would be retrieving it shortly, but four days later, he turned to Facebook for help with the mystery. Then he heard from Brenda Robertson, who said, "'That's my house.'" She went on to explain that there had been a few issues in the delivery of her new house from neighboring Manitoba. Now, though the home had reached Saskatchewan, Robertson was told that it had to be taken back across province lines in order to have permits reissued. So it's quite a surprise to see my house on your land, she said. But the good news is everything is getting cleared up and the house should be off of Mays' property on Thursday, though he did joke that he might be able to keep it you know, under finders keepers laws. Ellen Barkin reportedly scared away a burglar inside her home. Then again, that plastic surgery scares away everybody. Kroger grocery stores are going to start carrying clothing items. Be looking for culottes in the freezer section. And now for the real fans, there is Walking Dead Wine. Three different blends named after fan-favorite characters Rick Grimes, Daryl Dixon, and Negan. You know what? Name a deep red wine after Lucille, and then you'll get me interested. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul is recovering from five broken ribs after being attacked by a guy who tackled him while he mowed his lawn on Friday. It is shocking news. I mean, who knew a senator would be willing to mow their own lawn? A ride in a Maserati to a movie theater sounds like a great night out on the town. It wasn't, though, for a Georgia man who's accused of stealing said Maserati and driving it to a showing of the movie Blade Runner 2049. Police spotted the stolen vehicle parked outside the theater and stuck around until the thief came out of the movie. 
Okay, if you're going to steal a car and park it in public, you might want to jack one that's a bit less conspicuous. Get the Daily Dose of Weird News podcast for Apple or Android at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And please leave a review on iTunes if you like the show. In fact, a huge thanks to The Media Matters who said, I don't watch or listen to the news, but I will now through this podcast. Seriously made me laugh out loud. Very well done. And News Justin says, love this podcast. It's a quick, funny news outlet that's a must-listen when I get to my desk in the morning. I'm still telling people about the 70-plus-year-old ninja thief. Hey, if you like the show, again, please leave an iTunes review. I'd really appreciate it. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos. Ghosts. Demons. Shadow people. Unsolved mysteries. Unexplained phenomenon. Monsters and more true stories of the paranormal and supernatural. I'm Darren Marlar, the creator and host of Weird Darkness, where I bring you the dark, creepy, and macabre. You can even tell me your own stories for use in future episodes. Get the podcast today for Apple, Android, or your favorite podcasting app at WeirdDarkness.com. <laughs>